got into uh, the practice of yoga and I was like, this is great. It, it, the physical benefits benefited me right away. Hello again. Um, I'm going to make my arguments on two different grounds. Number one, I'm a Christian and I consider myself to be a very spiritual person. Number two, I'm also in the medical field. I'm a physical therapist. So I understand kinematics. I understand movement and body wellness. The first part, the spiritual part of it. We all are spirit beings having a human experience. Some believe it, some don't, but this is what I believe. And because we are, we are spirit beings having a human experience, at some point our human experience will cease, but our spiritual existence will not cease. And so you have to understand that there is a spirit behind everything that we do. I know some people think you just come, you just leave, and you just go. But whether you are a hippie, a, a hippie whether you are a nudist, whether you, whatever it is that you think or know, claim that you are, there is a spirit behind that. To every belief system, there is a spirit behind it. We are not just existing. And so the practice of yoga and is close affiliation as indicated in this clip and also from the commentator should be something that you consider very seriously as a Christian. There's no such thing as Christian yoga. You cannot put your, these, once again, these positions, learn them in Sanskrit, have the names of the gods that mm -hmm. you are putting your body into. So there's no argument here. Got the teacher certification. I've done every kundalini practice and walked right through it. I've done every hatha, every vinyasa, every restorative, anything you name it. So miss me with that. It There's always a spirit behind it. I'm not talking about the stretches and the all of that. I'm talking about some of these positions and some of these hand signs and all of that. You need to fully, 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 fully understand everything has a foundation on which it is built up on so sometimes we're so carried away by the branches and the leaves we don't go deep enough into the roots to figure out okay what is the source of all of this and so when people like this come on and tell you look i've studied this i'm certified i've gone deep this is not there's more to this than you actually think then you should stop and take a moment and reconsider just because you are benefiting from the thing does it mean that it is right for you? Especially if you're a Christian, especially if you understand spirituality and you understand it just like people who burn sages and don't all these incense and all of that. Pastor Stephanie has a very comprehensive series on new age you know, practices and how witchcraft has suddenly become well, mainstreamed. That's my take on that. Then the second part. As a physical therapist, I understand body movements joints, bones, the way they should be moving, how they should be moving. I understand muscles, loading, I understand flexibility and stretches and muscle function. Now there is anatomy and there is physiology. And some of these yoga positions and yoga stretches and yoga movements, surely they have anatomical and physiological benefit because that's the way that God has designed it. If you have a joint, there are four principal movements that every joint is made to carry out. And then a fifth one, which is either circumduction, as you can see in that video. You have your flexion, you have your extension, you have your adduction, and you have your abduction. And then you have circumduction, which not every joint has the privilege of carrying out, except things like your hip joint and also your shoulder joint. Your neck as well is able to, you know, do the rotation. So other than that, those are the four, oh, okay, let's just give it five, the five principal movements. And why are your joints able to carry out those functions? It is because of your muscles. And every muscle has its origin and its end insertion. We call it where a, where a muscle originates from and where a muscle inserts. So movements of the muscle always goes from where it inserts to where it originates from if you are carrying out any movement that is within your anatomical and physiological parameters and what it allows 
then surely that is something that is permissible and there is no arguments about that just because we're not gonna you know push everything to the yoga part and say we are no longer going to be doing our stretches and our exercises and all of that no you can sit in place as from when i was a child i've always sat like this from when i was a child i know anything about yoga i just like the ability that I, for me it was being flexible so but when it comes to this hand positions doing this and doing that and doing the, you know like you have to understand why are you curving your arm like a python what's that, what's that got to do with exercise these are the areas where you need there are some conflicts of interest when it comes to loading when it comes to weight bearing weight when it comes to joints when we design exercises for patients we design exercises that would you want to maximize the range of motion within within a joint and how do you do that if there's any tightness in the muscle you want to find a way to relieve that muscle because the pliability and the flexibility of a muscle creates a freer movement in a joint with limited risk of injury if you have tight muscles and you force a movement there will be micro muscle tear and there will be some issues within that joint and there will be pain there will be limited range of motion so as long as that movement is supported by your anatomical frame framework and the physiological process that god has designed it to be please carry on but when the meditation part the and and all of that now that part you can play you can do exercise if you feel like okay i need that space then for all means find cool calm lovely music that has nothing to do with that you can play god's word even while you're exercising you don't have to do all that you know like you don't need to do all of that so we need to be careful how we pick up some of these things because nothing happens just for nothing to so everything there is a reason and the bible says and there is a purpose under heaven the same way countries um influence other nations by virtue of their music and the music and culture cultural influences is the same way that some of these things creep into the house of god spiritually quietly dressed up in all sorts of lovely names and not so and not so i mean what's wrong with yoga it doesn't look like you're not harming anybody <clears throat> you're not doing anything but the underneath it underneath it there's some quiet streams of manipulation that are going on underneath and it's influencing a lot of people so you need to watch it and you need to understand that as a spiritual person you cannot participate or engage in just anything that you find that is going on out there why is this thing the way it is always ask the questions and do the right thing so that's my two cents i hope it helps